Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will be discussing how to create a Verizon account online. Verizon is a popular telecommunication company that provides services such as mobile phones, internet and television. By creating an account on their website, you can manage your services, view your billing informations and much more. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser. It could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, or any other browser you have in your PC. Maybe if you're a Mac user, Safari, or something like that. So once you open your browser, make sure to go to the URL section and simply type verizon.com and hit the enter button. That will take you to their home screen or main screen right away. And here you'll be able to create your account. So as you can see, this is going to be your websites. Of course, you can create an account for personal use or for business use. So make sure to select whatever you want. Of course, for me, I'm going to show you how to create an account for a personal use. So here, of course, as you can see, you can see their lasses, services and etc. And their best unlimited plans. And you'll be able to see a lot more if you scroll down, of course. So, of course, well, if you want to create our account, simply we will have to click on sign in here at the top right corner. Once you click on it, as you can see, you will find here a lot of options. Sign into my account. So, if you have an account, make sure to click on it to sign in into it. As you can see, if you click on it, you'll have to enter your user ID or Verizon mobile number. Then, of course, click on continue. Then, enter your password. And, of course, if you don't have an account, you can also click on register right here. Of course, there's even the option of prepaid instance pay, wishlist and business login. For us, we will not care about this fourth option. We will have to click on register right here. Once you click on register, sorry, or not able to process your request at the time. Maybe they have a load at their uh, website. So it's not going to be a problem. You'll have to try later as an example. And as an example, of course, if you're facing this problem, you can also just call them by the phone and try to create your online with their support. Of course. So since we cannot do this at the moment, let me just show you an article how to do that. Of course, this steps is going to be very easy and simple. So don't worry about any of that. So let's say an example, just open uh, this article and how to register for my Verizon website. Of course, just note that the my uh, Verizon uh, user ID is 10 digits mobile number and password are used to access all Verizon wireless portals and to register the 10 digits mobile number of a non text messaging capable device. Of course, you will have to check the email provided at time of purchase or for the link to register. And of course, the email link is valid for three days. If the link is no longer accessible or cannot be found, follow the steps below and you will have a code the code mail to the address to your account. If necessary, contact the customer service or immediate account assistance. So for us, this is just a note. Of course, if you need this information for us, we will have to start by the step one, of course, of creating your account. Of course, you will have to navigate to the Verizon registration page. And as you can see, it's not available for this moment because they haven't maybe a, a load or a slow server at the moment. So we will not care about this for you will be able to do that then you will have to click the appropriate account option if it's a mobile option or 5g home or prepaid mobile for you choose whatever suits you once you are creating your account then of course the third step is going to be uh, an easy step which is enter the 10 digits mobile number uh, then click and continue as we said this 10 digits mobile number will come once you buy something from them and you will find it on the mail and of course as we said here if the uh, email link is available you will have to contact their customer service so of course if prompted to enter email from create your page profile you will have to refer to this alternative registration step as an example and you'll find here some so once we are done with here of course the fourth step it's going to be from the are you the account owner section select one of the following refer to account rules for more info and if registering a prepaid number no role is prompted enter account security code and of course i am the account owner i'm financially responsible for this account not available if an account owner is already 
registered, you will have to enter the bill and zip code, then enter the account pin. And of course, I am an account member and not the person financially responsible for the account. There is even this option as an example to choose from. And the five step is going to be do one of the following using a one time registration code. You'll have to select send me a free text message to this is going to be your number, of course, with one time registration code. Then click on continue. Of course, if using a non text capable advice or device, a letter will be mailed to the address of the, of the account or, or the account with a one time registration code to complete registration. Then select. And of course, I already have a one time registration code and follow the steps below. If necessary, contract contact the customer service for immediate account assistance. You can all, always contact the support if you go down to their website and you will find here the support. You will be able to contact them from here. So let's just back now to here. And as you can see, we will have to enter your one time registration code, then click on verify my account. Then from the create profile page, enter the following info. You'll have to create a user ID, must be a six to 60 characters and can't contain space or match password. And of course, then you will have to simply create your password. It must be eight to 20 characters and must contain a combination of numbers and letters, password and case sensitive and can contain special characters. It can contain those spaces or match the user ID. Then you simply, you'll have to confirm your password, enter your email address, then a secret question answer. As an example, what's uh, the city that your parents were born in? And you'll have to answer it. Of course, choose an honest answer because if they ask you again the same question, you will have the same answer and you'll not forget what you write. And of course, then you will have to review the terms and conditions and privacy policy, then click on check, then agree. And of course, if you want to use the email address, it's only available for any non-text capable device. When an email address was provided during purchase, if no email is on the file, follow one time registration code steps. Of course, it's going to be kind of the same steps. It's going to be uh, the from the create profile page. You will have to enter the following info, uh, then click and continue, create a user ID, then agree to the horizon terms and condition, which is going to be required, of course. And from the please check email prompt, click on done. Then from the registration email, click on complete registration, then email sent to the address provided during device purchase for and valid for three days. And of course, you will have then to enter the five digits bill and zip code, then click on continue, then simply click on or enter the following info, then click on continue, then create your password, confirm it. Uh, of course, choose a secret question, then answer it, and then enter your secret question answer, then click on continue. If prompt, click complete registration, and you will be good to go. Of course, you will have to check the Verizon facts or frequently asked questions for more info on accessing your accounts via a web browser. And of course, you can also register via the Verizon app if you don't want to register here on the website, if you prefer to do that on your phone. And of course, you can even register via the Horizon app or sorry, Verizon app using the order number as an example, if you want. So that's it on how to create a Verizon account online, which is quick and easy, of course. You'll have just to follow simple instructions which will give you access to all of Verizon's service. If you have any issues during the registration process, make sure to contact the Verizon customer support for assistance. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.